What's up, guys? Um, I am feeling like my hair is really crazy because I haven't been to a barber in three months. Uh, and I'm gonna start getting to that long hair. Hopefully I don't get to the long heroin addict hair that I that everyone said like the heroin addict hair. Although I kind of feel like everyone's got a double standard here because I don't understand why. Um, it, it was the greasy part, that's the... No, but I'm about to get to that. Okay. Because, uh, hey, what's the guy that starred in A Star Is Born? What's that actor's name again? Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. So if Bradley Cooper in A Star Is Born had kind of greasy long hair and everyone thought he was so hot. But when I have greasy long hair, and my hair wasn't even greasy. Yeah, well, you you said it wasn't greasy, but it looked greasy. That's Maybe all it looked happened. greasy, but in reality, it wasn't actually like, it wasn't, it wasn't, it's like this, it might have been greasy, but it wasn't greasy because it was dirty. Right. It was greasy because I put all coconut oil in my hair, but now I actually hide it with product. And so, you know, I guess when it's short, you can't really tell as much, you know, that I have sheeny hair, but it's really good for your hair. You guys should do that. All right, today we are going to be starting in a, well, we already started in kind of a weird off kilter way, but uh, as you can see, I'm not wearing my apron. I'm wearing this awesome t-shirt that was made by my friend Viola. I want you guys to take a good long look at it. Um, I am a very big Pitbull advocate as you, well, I mean, if you guys, you know, have been watching this channel for a while, you should probably know that my dog Lily is a Pitbull and, uh, I think that Pitbulls get like a really bad rap. And so, uh, Viola. Is she a full Pitbull or just like a Pitbull Terrier or something? You know, nobody knows because she's a rescue and all my dogs have been rescues. So I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll, why don't we ask the audience to decide? They can take a good long look at her and they can decide whether or not she's like a full pit bull or not, but uh, she's pretty pit bull-ish. I mean, people walk across the street when they see her walking down the street, which to me is ridiculous because she is the most loving animal that you'll literally ever meet. She is the, even Marius, who is a dog hater, can attest to No, I, I like dogs. I just don't want one. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So she's like just, a true dog lover. But she doesn't. I like, I love other people's dogs. <laughs> right. All right. You know, you feel about dogs the way most people feel about kids. I yeah. Guess. Uh, so she started making these t-shirts, um, to help bring money into pit bull rescues. So if you are a pit bull lover like me and you want to do something good for some homeless pit bulls, uh, look below and there is a link there. Click on it. You can buy one of these lovely t-shirts. I love the t-shirt. I wear it all the time. And, uh, I think you'll love it too. It's very comfortable, very good quality shirt. All right. Today's cocktail is, um, as you can see, kind of an ingredient heavy cocktail. I think a lot of you are going to sort of complain about how ingredient heavy it is, but I will say this, that if you've been making uh, a, a drinks in the, from this channel for a while, then you'll probably have most of this in your collection by by now. And not only that, I, I get separate emails about, what can I use my Lillet in? What can I use my Dolan in? What can I use my Chartreuse in? What other cocktails can I use my Maraschino in? Well, right now I'm giving you a cocktail you can use all of them in. Uh, so it, it comes, it, it is, the drink is called an Arinato and it's created by a woman named Ivy Mix who is a New York City bartender and co-owner of the bar at Leyenda in Brooklyn. And um, she just came out with a book called uh, Spirits of Latin America, which is friggin' amazing. It is such a great book. And you know, honestly, I picked it up because I have uh, some holes in my Latin American spirits knowledge. And so I wanted to uh, go to the best source of picking up that knowledge and learning more about it. And so I picked up that book. I really love it. And then also this cocktail is a very summery cocktail. And she created this drink to sort of highlight the lighter, the lighter style that mezcal can sort of represent. So mezcal is really thought of as a very brutish, very smoky, very harsh uh, you know, kind of a bully of an ingredient. And so she created this cocktail um, to really highlight the lighter side of that. I thought since it's so hot and it is summertime now uh, and we haven't done many stirred drinks recently, we did that. I think putting... I said we did that, but that didn't make any sense. What I meant to say is we're going to do this. What were you going to say? I think putting four other ingredients is going to help hide the... Uh brutality of the mezcal. No, honestly, I, this is all fortified wine. It's, this is not going to hide the mezcal. It is going to... Uh, it is going to highlight the mezcal. I will say though that she usually uses illegal mezcal for this particular one. I'm using Lopez Real because it is a new mezcal that, well, a new-ish mezcal that uh, uh, that I have uh, kind of I've met the owners and uh, I really like this mezcal. It is it is a Hoven mezcal, kind of close-ish to to the flavor profile of illegal. So I think it's going to go well in this cocktail. But 
Uh, this is melting, so we should probably make the drink. All right. Since this is nice and tempered now. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is just a couple dashes of uh, Peychaud's bitters into the bottom of the glass. And then we are going to do one teaspoon of maraschino. I'm using Luxardo, but you can use whatever maraschino you like. We're going to do a quarter ounce of yellow chartreuse. Half an ounce of Dolan Dry. Uh, she, this is the one that she uses as well. So four vermouths. Because they're a proprietary blend, I think that you should try and get Dolan if you can. Um, that doesn't mean you can't sub it out and it won't make a good one, but you know, just test your, if you're gonna sub, then uh, you test the flavor profile, make sure that it works. Uh, you might need to test a few times, which that's kind of the fun in making cocktails. Uh, three quarters of an ounce of uh, Lillet. And then, last but certainly not least, an ounce and a half of the Lopez Real. We are going to give our first little cubie a cracky pants over here. We can get it on a flat side. Add a couple more of these cubes in. We'll give it a nice stir. I got this brilliant glass from Amela this week. Um, I just love that it almost disappears. So we're gonna put our uh, very tempered ice in there. Uh, stir this. Our ice is a little wet right now, so we don't need to stir too, 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 too much. Then we're gonna give it a nice strain. And then, last but certainly not least, a nice, I'm gonna give it a twist. And then I'm gonna cut my twist and do something fancy with it. Kinda like making these parallelogram twists. And then I'm just gonna lay it on top of the ice. Like so. All right, look at that. Let's take a sip. Just like I said. So this cocktail really plays up the flavor of the mezcal with the fortified wines. But what's really nice is that you get a nice, you know, kind of good shot of bitters right on the front. And then it opens up to that nice sort of like light smoke and citrusy mezcal being supported by the Lillet. So Lillet has kind of a dry and sort of sweet flavor, but it's not super, super sweet. Um, I want this to curl. I want this to stay curled. It's always the problem with these things. It's very difficult to make them stay curled. Like that. Ah, that's perfect. That's perfecto. Perfecto. I don't want you to fall. I just want you to stay there. Yeah, like that. Uh, so um, you get a little bit of that nice sort of those kind of alpine herbs from the chartreuse. Uh, the maraschino kind of dries it out. All of the flavors play really nicely together. And it's just a nice, refreshing drink. Oh, it's so fantastically refreshing. Um, I think that's all I got to say about it, unless Marius has something to add. What? Uh, what's uh, what's the name of the cocktail is it and what is it it's in called English? an arinato and what does that mean in English I don't know what that means in English I'll have to find out and I'll put it below but I don't know what it means in English um, I will say that Ivy Mix is a person who has spent a lot of time in Latin America and that's why she knows so much about Latin American spirits is it what is um, it Spanish or is it uh, it, it is definitely Spanish absolutely Spanish but I'm not sure what it means and I should know what it means because my family Half of my family is from Argentina. So I should probably know, but I don't. And uh, thanks for pointing that out. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoy your arinato. There it is. Uh, if you like our channel, hit like and subscribe. I, I was gonna say check us out on Patreon, but actually we're moving away from Patreon and we're doing uh, YouTube memberships. Uh, memberships. So if you guys want to help our channel out, 
consider getting a YouTube membership. If you do not want to do a YouTube membership, you can go to our website and you can uh, just donate to us via PayPal or, and you can do like a one-time donation or you can do like a, to a donation, uh, you can do recurring monthly donations if you like. Up to you. We really appreciate the help and I will see you guys on another time.